Welcome to everyone watching this video today. This scripture reference for today's video is taken from Romans chapter 13 verse 1. That is Romans chapter 13 verse 1 and I'm going to read it now. Everyone must submit himself to the governing authorities for there is no authority except that which God has established. The authorities that exist have been established by God. I'll read that passage again. Everyone must submit himself to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except that which God has established. The authorities that exist have been established by God. Now a scripture link to this passage can be found in Ephesians chapter 6 verses 18 which states, and pray in the Spirit on all occasions, with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert, and always keep on praying for all the saints. Now, when it refers to the saints in this passage, it simply means all those that have put their trust in Jesus Christ, and accept him as their Lord and Saviour, they become brothers and sisters in the faith, and therefore they are living saints. Now a scripture link to today's passage, our final scripture link, is found in uh, 1 Timothy chapter 2 verses 1 to 4. That is 1 Timothy chapter 2 verses 1 to 4, and I'll read. I urge then, first of all, that requests prayers, intercession and thanksgiving be made for everyone, for kings and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. This is good and pleases God our Saviour, who wants all people to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. Praise God. Let us now pray. Dear Lord, we pray for our monarch. We pray for King Charles III and we pray for his wife Camilla. We pray for all those in the royal family, the Prince of Wales, William, and his wife, the Princess of Wales, Kate, their children, their family and their royal household. Lord, we pray that you will heal, minister and deliver at this time. Draw them into a loving, living, active relationship with you as Lord and Saviour. And Lord, we pray for our government. We pray for all politicians of all political persuasions. And we pray for all those that serve tirelessly in the House of Lords, the House of Commons and all those at local level. And with today being the results of a newly elected uh, government. Lord, regardless of political belief, we pray for that existing government that has taken office today. Lord, we pray that they will be led by the anointing of your Holy Spirit, that they may know you as Lord and Saviour and steer and direct this nation to have an influence with other nations around the world and to be and, um, and a witness of your great glory in this nation. We pray for our church, hierarchy and the institution of this land. Lord, we pray that you will pour out a fresh anointing of your Holy Spirit upon all those that you have ordained, men and women that serve in the church. Let them know the um, pastoral heartbeat of what it is to come alongside, journey, love, minister and to simply be for those areas that they represent. And we pray for our community at all stratas and levels of society. We pray for those in education. We pray for those in work or unable to work. We pray for those in a care setting and or their later stages of life. Lord, we pray your blessing upon them, their families, their households, we pray, and make them be a blessing to others. 
in Jesus' name. Amen. And remember, share the word. Please do like this video, comment on this video, share this video widely, and please do subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't done so already, because we'd love to get these biblical truths uh, shared across the nation and see lives changed through that saving relationship available to every single person of knowing Jesus Christ as Lord and Saviour. God bless. Amen.